with the release of John Wick Volume 2 coming out, which will star Keanu Reeves and Lawrence Fishburne, I thought I would take a look at the first film they starred in together. That would be The Matrix, which came out in 1999. I gotta say that when I first saw the trailers to this, it didn't impress me because the trailers didn't give much away. <laughs> and boy, am I kind of glad they didn't because I was really blown away when I finally saw this movie in theaters. There had... There's been so many imitators after this movie, but none of them come close to capturing the awesome magic that is the Matrix film. The Wachowskis, who are the writer and directors, this movie is like a nod to anime films that they're, you could tell they're big fans of. I mean, you, you could see they take every elements of an anime film and put it into this movie and they do it quite well I must say I used to think what is it about Keanu Reeves people love so much he is not a terrible actor but he's not an all around great actor he just has this enjoyable X factor like quality to him I mean, no matter what he's saying or doing in a film, you just can't help but enjoy watching him, regardless of if the movie's good or bad, you just can't help but enjoy him in it. I think his career was kind of in a slump until this movie came out, and it just kind of put him re really back on track. <laughs> What's the film about? Well, the film is about Thomas Anderson, played by, of course, Keanu Reeves, who discovers the world he thought he knew is not what it seems. Thanks to Morpheus, played by Lawrence Fishburne, who show him what the real world is. It's actually in the near, near future, and the world he that he believes to be 1989 is nothing more than a something called the matrix that and human beings are nothing more that, than something like batteries unless they're unplugged it's what they do for him he gets unplugged he meets trinity played by carrie ann moss cypher played by joey patliano and the other crew and when they're in the matrix they run from these sentient programs called agents who are very powerful machines and they want to and they want to get into their world and the toughest one of all is Agent Smith played by Hugo Weaving Morpheus believes Neo is the uh, aka Thomas Anderson sorry is the one, the one who will save us from, save Zion, the place where they come from, from uh, the machines. But it is, but is, is Thomas Anderson, a.k.a. Neo, the one? Well, you probably know the answer to that, and um, if you don't, I'm not going to tell you, because you know, you probably know there, there are sequels that follow, they were trying to do their this is like their the Wachowski's Star Wars trilogy thing, so um, you got to see the movie to find out. Imagine seeing this movie for the first time; it just it'll blow you away. <laughs> I gotta say, uh, Lawrence Fishburne really surprised me as Morpheus. Uh, I mean, a year earlier. Before, before he made this film, he played in the TV movie Always Outnumbered. He played a rough and tumble ex-con who uh, was trying to make good with his life because he committed a horrible crime, but he still shows he has a violent, psychotic temper. And he's very menacing in that film. He's like somebody you don't want to mess with. Then he plays, a year later, he stars in this film, Morpheus. He plays an Obi-Wan Kenobi-like character, basically trying to show the hero his destiny and make him realize his true power. He's a guy of peace and he doesn't really want to fight. 
But, but when the time comes for it, he will be a badass. That's what makes him so cool. Keanu Reeves is good as the, as first the reluctant hero. You come to understand the situation why he doesn't doesn't want to believe any of this. I mean, if anybody in his shoes would have believed it, probably would have believed it too if they were in his shoes. I mean, but I like the way he does come around. Carrie Ann Moss is Trinity. Whoa, she is incredible. <laughs> she is an awesome female badass. Does show her strengths and vulnerability, and I really do believe that the chemistry she has with uh, Keanu Reeves and the other cast. I mean, I didn't really know who Carrie Ann Moss was until this film came out. But she was good too. She really she made this character. She made it very well. I mean, I I think she was good. I mean, it's hard to imagine the other actress playing that role. I mean, she's just she was good. <laughs> I love Carrie Ann Moss. She's just awesome. And let's not forget Hugo Weaving as Agent Smith, a cool, subtle villain. Wears glasses and a gray suit and always has his hair slicked back. Now I, there's no doubt that the Wachowskis were in, took the idea of Agent Smith off of Albert Wesker from the Resident Evil games. I mean, Albert Wesker came first, but Hugo Weaving, man, he is Agent Smith. Who is he ever? He's just, I love his evil subtleness he brings to his, uh, to the character. I mean. I also like a scene where uh, he does show he's a bit vulnerable and he does want to admit, I want to evolve more. I want to get out of this this, this world. I want to see something more. I love that scene. It really shows that the character is more than just one note evil character. And the fight scenes are awesome. Man, they are intense as they come. I mean, you don't... They fight at such an awesome level of intensity where you I also like the way they use wire effects but never to a they don't overdo it to the point where people are going to think they're like human puppets on a string ooh man no they don't they really use it just just to a certain amount and And Roger Ebert said it best when he when the movie Romeo Must Die when they used wire effects in that movie and he said oh just like in the Matrix except in the Matrix they had a reason why they could do all that and I I kind of agree with that I mean I, I would think I wish they could use wire effects in films only if they have a good explanation of why they can use it just using it to be using it that's just be ridiculous and the special effects oh man I don't think. There was any special effects like we haven't seen in any film before this. Whoa, man. I mean, there have been... You see films like Inception and Doctor Strange, but you just can't help but... I, I know Doctor Strange is based on a comic Marvel comic book, but I just can't help see similarities with The Matrix. These days, it's hard to watch any of these type of films like Inception also and not see some similarities with The Matrix. <laughs> it's hard to see anything that's really original anymore. The Matrix was good. It's a timeless classic and uh, and enjoyable. So um, I give this film a 10 out of 10. See you later. Uh -huh.